Choose a beautiful bead. A spike with a ring. A soft insert on the other side. Don't cry, here's the pacifier. An elastic band with a bow. Wow. Our little one is happy. <laughs> Let's play with the baby. Her arms and legs need a workout. We moved a lot. And now it's time to sleep. Good night, baby. A bit of lalaloo magic. And here it is! An empty pack of tissues. Cut a regular napkin. Now we have a lot of small ones. Pack everything. Let's complete the package with a lid. Napkins are always at hand when there is a baby in the house. Dinner time! This naughty baby does not like porridge. Come on, a spoon for Lalaloo. This porridge is really good for you. Oh, now you're all dirty and made a real mess. It's a good thing there were napkins nearby. Who is this clean baby? The table is also a mess. Okay, let's leave porridge for dinner. Well done. <laughs> now our little one is full and clean. Yes. You have to compromise with kids sometimes. <laughs> let's sew a new look for the little one. Cut out a hole for the neck. Here are the ribbons. This dress is easy to put on the baby. Just tie bows on the sides. The only thing missing is a bandage. This little fashionista looks wonderful. Thank you. Well, what do you think? <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> baby hid in the egg. You can even have a photo shoot with it. Let's fill the bath. Add foam. Shake the bubbles well. How's the water? Is it warm? Ooh. Great. This soft washcloth will give even more foam. Rinse the hair thoroughly. It doesn't sting your eyes. Hide in a towel after bathing. Are the curls a mess? No problem. Thank you. This plastic bottle is useful for a new craft. Cut out the pink insert according to the template. Speakers next. Control buttons on the bottom. Wow. Add an antenna. Make smaller with magic. This monitor will help you find out how your baby is doing. Even if it is in another room. Our baby is exhausted. She's so sleepy. Your bed is cozy. And if you have a nightmare, the baby monitor will let us know. Lalalu will come running to any noise. This soft fabric of the bib will make a warm envelope. Outline the patterns. So the body of our chicken costume. The beak is missing. Hide our baby in a warm blanket. Thank you. Who is our little chicken? <laughs> These paws walk funny. This little bird looks even cuter than usual. You can even scratch your face with a feather. You can see an unusual egg in the nest. I wonder who will hatch out of it. This is our baby bird. We need to take cute photos. Here's your favorite milk. Everyone is satisfied. Let's empty the organizer. Glue the upper part with a fluffy fabric. 
Wow! Unicorn stickers! Hide our nappy in the bottom drawer. A pack of diapers in the top. You can turn changing diapers into a game with this table. <laughs> Ew! Where does that smell come from? Oh, it's okay. We can fix it. Take off this diaper. A little powder. Clean diaper is always at hand. And we're done. Hand speed and some magic. It's nice to be fresh and clean, right? A bird flew over the workshop. Make a chew toy from the pendant and beads. Take it and sharpen your growing teeth. Our little one is satisfied. Picking beads is so much fun. Growing teeth will not be a problem anymore. Let's prepare the basket. Put a sponge on the bottom. Our basket sparkles with rhinestones. Put a favorite toys. Our baby is happy. She slept sweetly in her new cradle. These toys will guard your sleep. Wow, and you can see letters. Bright rubber bands. Hang funny bear cubs. This developing center will help your baby learn the first letters and develop good motor skills. Okay. What's wrong, honey? Are you uncomfortable? Lalalu prepared something new. Whoa. Yay! Balloons! Playing with pendants is so fun! <laughs> what is this under my back? These are letters! You will learn how to read soon. In the meantime, have magical dreams. Pour hot glue into a silicone mold. Let it dry. Now we have a cute little baby! Mix acrylic paint to get the right shade. And cover all three figurines. Wow! The first baby will be a redhead. The second will be a brunette. And the third will have light hair. Draw facial features and expressions for each of the babies. Make diapers out of foam paper of three different colors. Now all the babies are happy! Today is a special day! <laughs> the princesses are gathered in a nice big room! Mommies, tell me, who's this red-headed angel? <laughs> oh, that's my Judy! <laughs> she is such a cutie! <laughs> then Rapunzel held her daughter in her arms! Mary has her mom's hair! And Jasmine's daughter, Rose, is just as beautiful as her mom. Dad. All the babies really take after their mothers. And when they grow up, they will also be best friends. Dad. I'll bring more hot glue. Thanks, Jasmine. We need it to make toys. Cover a cutting board with cosmetic oil and draw a tiger figurine with hot glue. Cover part of the fur with white acrylic paint and the rest will be stripey, like a real tiger! Make flounder out of yellow light clay. Make the third toy. You can recognize Pascal by his curly tail. Make paws and paint the figurine green. Pascal is curious and smiling. Every child should have a favorite toy. Mommies, all of you are lucky to take home your little princess. We have a special present for each of them. Because our babies are special. <laughs> it's gift time. What a nice surprise. Thanks a lot. During nap time, Jasmine's daughter got a little tiger called Raja. Rapunzel introduced baby Mary to baby Pascal. And Judy met Minnie Flounder. Now the babies made some friends! Every princess needs a headband! 
Judy chose an accessory made out of a satin ribbon with a purple shell. Pearls and rhinestones are a must. The princesses are still very small, but they already love dressing up. The fairy godmother visited the sleeping babies and used her magic to give each princess a gift. Wow, that's a real miracle. We can use satin fabric to make swaddles. Cover them with fiberglass mesh tape. Add a layer of fabric to the top and iron it. We made a dense and warm swaddle for the girls. Decorate the sides with glittery ribbons. Carefully wrap each baby and tie a small cord around them. Now they are warm and comfy. Before leaving the maternity ward, the moms need to swaddle their babies. Rapunzel ties a bow, and she's happy that Mary is comfortable. All the blankets are different, but they are all very comfy and nice for the babies. Cover a plastic cap with fabric. A soft pillow made out of pink artificial fur will cover them. Make a frame out of a thick wire with a spiral as a base. Soon, we'll hang a crib on the top. First, we need to add accessory chains. It's much easier to do with metal rings. Connect three accessory chains to make one ring and hang a crib using a spiral loop. Decorate the crib with flowers and flower buds. That's so cute! Rapunzel is doing some house chores. Now she's busy cooking a delicious dinner. Mmm, it smells so tasty. It's good that the baby's sleeping nearby so her mom can always keep an eye on her. Rapunzel checks on her daughter from time to time and rocks her cradle. Measure the baby's height and cut the right piece out of hardened hot glue. This will be the bed base. Glue paper straw legs to it. You can draw decorations with hot glue. Just look at the curvy sides of the crib. Make a shelf out of pearly cardboard. Cover the crib walls with pearl acrylic paint. Decorate the shelf with shells and pebbles. Wow, there's even seaweed here. An octopus couldn't ignore a place like this. He's already laying on the shelves. Cover a styrofoam piece with gold brocade. It's a bed for a real princess. Ariel is feeding the baby and she's slowly falling asleep in her mother's arms. Now you need to put her inside the crib carefully. Cover her with a blanket and put a toy fish under her side. The baby is slowly falling asleep. She has never seen the ocean before, but she is definitely dreaming of it. Make a crib for baby Rose. Cover an empty lotion bottle with a strip of glittery foam paper. Make a sparkly bottom with a magical feather. Put a round sponge inside as a mattress. Just some final touches and we have gold magic. Twist a pipe cleaner like this. Add it to the sides. Alternate blue pom-poms. Hang a crib on sequin ribbons. Decorate it with a bead and a feather. Big rhinestones shine on the sides. In a crib like this, even the fussiest kids look at the shiny things and calm down. Let's see if Rose likes it. Jasmine was just about to tuck her daughter in. It was a long day and they need to rest. What book should I choose? Oh, A Thousand and One Nights. Jasmine is reading the most beautiful story to Rose. She wants to help her daughter fall in love with reading. Trim wooden skewers. Make a steady frame out of them to make a feeding chair. An old ruler will come in handy. Now we have a steady seat and a back. Take a wire and coffee stirs. Make handles out of them. Add a table and a foot support. Paint the chair and the supports purple. 
Make a soft cover for the frame out of light clay. Flowers will turn a regular chair into a magic garden. Just look at those colors! It's lunchtime! First, we need to feed baby Mary. She just woke up and she's probably hungry. A spoon for Jasmine. A spoon for Ariel. Rapunzel fed the baby and then she had lunch herself. Cover a glass lemonade bottle with a silicone mat. Add details with hot glue. We made beautiful sheer petals. They are all part of a huge shell. Cover it with emerald paint. A stem from a disposable glass can be a bathroom table. And the attachment point is covered under pebbles and shells. This design is really popular in the underwater world. Decorate the base. There's even some seaweed growing. Apply some glitter to the sides. Baby Judy can play with bath foam as much as she wants. Ariel's daughter loves splashing in the water, of course. It's time for a bath. Here's baby soap that smells like ocean. There is so much foam. The baby is playing with it and the foam is everywhere. Are you in a good mood today? <laughs> well, now we'll have to clean everything here. This styrofoam wrap will come in handy. Trim the edges. Leave thin walls. Three cardboard tubes will become steady supports. Attach the legs to the table. Cover everything with blue acrylic paint. And a printed image of a castle will become the view. A changing table is decorated with peacock feathers. The gold sparkles in the rays of the sun. While the mom is changing the baby, she can look at her own castle. <laughs> Jasmine wrapped her up in a soft blanket and tied a bow. They are going to the park. Let's wish them good luck. Comment below and tell us which princess you liked the most. Give us a like and press the subscribe <laughs> button. We have more doll crafts on Lalalu. This silicone mold is in Lalalu's hands for a reason. Polish the surface from the inside. Gently use a brush to apply a liquid so the mold doesn't stick. Tightly wrap it with tape. Take two component silicone. And we have food coloring too. Stir it and add coloring in the right proportions. Pour it inside the mold like this. And leave it to harden. This beautiful baby was just born. He's so smooth and soft. Look at these pudgy cheeks. Put the baby on a baby blanket. It's cozy and calm. Make a warm blanket out of soft yarn. Keep working on the blanket. The happy girl is giggling. <laughs> Luann just had a daughter. <laughs> Why is she shaking? Doctor, come here. <gasps> Don't worry, I'll take a look at your baby. She's probably just chilly. The doctor found a solution and brought a knitted plush blanket. Now your baby will be warm and comfy. Thank you. The mom is singing a lullaby. The baby quickly got warm and fell asleep. Have the sweetest dreams, my Amelia. Shh. Trim straws. Connect them. Seal the bottom. Fill it with milk and add a lid. Add divisions so the baby doesn't drink too much. Mmm, Amelia really loves warm milk. Who's hungry? Hmm? Take this bottle. The doctor filled a new bottle and recommended to give the baby the right dosage of food. <laughs> the baby needs clothes. Make small undies. Cut a small piece out of lace. So cute! Complete it with a small ribbon on the waist. 
It's so adorable! An underwear set with a hat really suits the baby. <laughs> Jessica is a new mom. She's been reading lots of books about parenting. Mm -hmm. Her baby is asleep, but sometimes he does wake up. Oh, baby, you woke up. I prepared a new outfit for you. Let's try it on. The hat and undies fit perfectly. Lace looks so beautiful. Mom has good taste. Uh. Jessica played with her son. Then they read a fairy tale together. And they lived happily ever after. The baby is getting sleepy. The mom puts the baby inside the crib. And Robbie fell asleep. Jessica is a very good mom. Uh -huh. Use ribbons and a piece of jersey fabric to make a baby bib. Add a button to the ends. Now it will be easy to put on a bib. She always feeds the baby according to her schedule. His diet should be healthy and nutritious. His growing body needs lots of vitamins. Robbie is eating. But like all kids, he's not very careful. Oh, who spilled food all over himself? Hmm? A bib will help. Yay! Kids will be kids, and their parents love them no matter what. <laughs> Would you like to let your hair down? Keep that headband around. Let's make something special out of it. A butterfly cocoon. Sew and turn it right side out. Wow, a butterfly hair clip came to us to make a new craft. Complete the cocoon with antennas. Let's change him while he's sleeping before he wakes up. It's so soft and cozy in this cocoon. There are antennas on his head and butterfly wings behind his back. Robbie looks so cute surrounded by beautiful yeah. flowers. Wow. The photo shoot of a mom as a fairy went well. The baby was quietly sleeping in the cocoon. Soon, you'll grow up to be a big boy. It's like a butterfly being born from a cocoon. <laughs> Beads spilled all over on the table. Put them on a wire and shape a ring. Three big beads will ring like bells and entertain the baby. Jessica decided to take Robbie on a picnic. Lay a soft blanket. The mom brought treats and a drink. Yay! <laughs> and there is a perfect way to calm the baby down. A rattle. It makes such a beautiful sound. It's so easy to give the baby something to do. <laughs> Peekaboo! Where's my cute baby? Uh -huh. Jessica and Robbie are loving this picnic. No, we don't want coffee. Cut a circle out of foam rubber. Cover it with bright polka dot fabric. Put the mattress inside a cup and complete it with sides. Make a new outfit. A headband with a cute bow is a part of the set. She's so beautiful. She's happily sleeping in her cup crib. Luann is a chef. She decided to make a cake for her daughter but it's not very convenient to cook with a baby in your arms. Oh, what should I do? Lalalu found a solution. A cup-shaped crib perfectly matches the kitchen. Yay! <laughs> and while the baby is asleep, the mom can do some cooking. It should be tasty. Put it in the oven. And pretty soon, it's ready. After a good sleep, you need a good meal. This crib is a lifesaver. <laughs> a glittery cover will be a perfect decoration for any album. Glue printed sheets with cute designs inside. Oh, there are so many of them. It's so creative. There are photos of the baby on every page. Tie a bow around the album. A photo album for Amelia will keep the best childhood memories. The mom scheduled a photo shoot with the best photographer. Hello. Relax and don't worry. I'll make sure that you and your daughter feel comfortable during the shoot. Here we go. We're getting some great shots. 
The baby is being so good. She was sleeping in her crib and then in her mother's arms. And the pictures where the mom threw the baby in the air are the best. <laughs> These photos look very natural. Look, you both are such great models. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. The photos really look great. Thank you. Our photo studio gives every client a designer photo album. Wow. Now I can flip through all the photos at once. You're a real professional. <laughs> Put templates of details on soft fabric. The pieces are ready. We just need to fill them with stuffing. Wow, we made a cute bear out of small gray balls. What a cute face and a blue ribbon on the neck. This soft toy will make any baby happy. The bear is sitting on the shelf with the other things for the baby. Falling asleep with your favorite toys? What could be better than this? Sweet dreams! I hope you see the fairy tale world of Lalaloo!